So what do you see there, Kelly? Um, three bottles with water in them. And I suspect, Kelly, that you suspect that it's not just water. Yes. Because I wouldn't have you come over just to look at three bottles of water. Yeah. As a matter of fact, shake that bottle three times. Okay. It's turning purplish blue. Yes. Try the next one. Okay. It's turning two. Try this one. Look what happened. What kind of a shaker are you anyway? Go give that one three more shakes. Okay. What's the matter with you? Look at that one. I don't know how this is going back. Right. That one's almost. You ready to yeah. give it another shake? Go ahead. Now, ordinarily, when you have a chemical change like this, you add something to the chemicals. Did you see me add anything? No. What's in this uh, jar right here? Water. Oh, well, a, it's a solution at least, right? Yes. Liquid of some kind. Yes. Okay. Um, what's between my fingers? Nothing. Take a deep breath. Oh, air. So what's in this bottle? Air. A liquid and air, right? Yeah. Okay. The blue color comes from a chemical called methylene blue that is an indicator and indicates the presence of oxygen in the solution. Oh. So when you shake it up, you're adding that invisible oxygen to this solution and the methylene blue indicates it there. Then slowly the chemical reaction takes place to remove the oxygen so it gets clear. Yeah. Okay, shake it up. Now what are you adding? Air and water. Air, air, and you, actually it's the invisible oxygen. Yeah. Okay, try it. Keep going. This is an example of a reversible chemical reaction. And you could keep on doing that for maybe half an hour. It would keep changing back and forth. Yeah. Okay. You got time enough for a whole half hour? I guess. Okay. Well, you don't really have to. Just keep shaking. There. Oh, that one's clear. Okay. Yeah. Try that one. 